Hi, how are you guys? And Chin. Today is the Qigong day. And in the last video, I have introduced to you the contemporary Qigong second set, right? Harmonize with nature's Qi. So today, it was external one of the movement. Today, we're going to talk about the purpose and the demystify, right? The myth. So anyway, I love Qigong because it talks so much about our internal, the whole body from inside and outside. It's just that like the yin and yang. You have daytime, nighttime, make one day, right? And in that is yin yang symbol too, there's four seasons. It's a one day. It's a lot of stuff. It's black and white, by right? Two parts, there's always two parts. So when you exercise, you have a stabilization, mobilization, right? So it's called rooting in Qigong. And you have to stay rooted and learning. And guess what? Even breathing is two parts. It's inhale, exhale. First Chinese, we say, we say, Hu Xi. Hu is mean exhale. Xi is inhale. So it's pretty much saying, if you, if you don't get rid of the old, you have no room for the new. And so it's constant circling. And uh, same thing with our body, right? In, in, and elimination. So our body has what? Inspiration, you know, all different systems, digestive system, um, and uh, inspiration, which is, you know, our oxygen, and uh, a circulatory system, and for the blood, right, and the vein, to get rid of what? Sending out the used, the blood, which is less oxygen in there. And so, so eating and elimination. So there's always two parts. So what's the second part of harmonize with Qigong? I'm trying to focus on. Um, the answer is your spleen and your stomach. So we say um, the yin organ, remember last week or uh, a week before, the yin organ is the one that's solid, that's filtering. So the yin organ of our body, we have your heart, your lung, there are five of them, your, your heart and your lung, your spleen, your liver, yes, and the kidney in the back. So they are solid, they're filtering, right? And so they are absorbing, they're nourishing, nourishing. The yang organ, which is today, the yin is spleen, the yang will be stomach. The stomach, the yang, Y-A-N-G, yang organ is more like a pouch. So there's six of them, they truly there's five. The six I want to explain a little bit. So you have your stomach, like the first big pouch, the food goes in, you digest, and work it down, break it down, and in send it into a small intestine, go into the liver to filter through. So you have your stomach, next to it, you have a gallbladder, so stomach, gallbladder, small, and large intestine, last one is your bladder. And but we say six of them, the other one is three energizer. So um, if you did a warm-up, you also understand the chicken warm-up, you have your what? Three energizer in the body. It's not organ, it's full of organ, right? It's section, it's, it's a system. The three systems to help your body, right? Living well, it's all in your trunk. That's why it's so important to move your spine, to stimulate the nerves through the your spine that also connect to your internal organ that works so well to protect you because organ sh any organ shut down is more scary because most important things you don't see right we don't know we don't care and we should right so it's nice to learn all this stuff in the school and start it young and uh, you solve a lot of problems so we don't need it medication and pills to take care of ourselves. We know how to eat, we know how to breathe, we know how to exercise, and we have different choice of exercise. So now we'll come down to the emotion of your spleen and stomach. So spleen is an in organ, the stomach is a young organ, so it's a pair, okay? So so cool. So their their emotion is worry. The opposite of worry is trust. So if I worry about something and I think about it, 
because worry in the hot stomach is butterflies and people throw up, it's too worry. And uh, <laughs> worry makes you depressed. So we're actually hurting ourselves. So every time you have worry about something, you're gonna think about, I need to learn how not to worry about this situation, right? Or that situation or anything, that's when knowledge comes in. So once you have the knowledge, you have to trust specialists with your kids too, because they want them to be independent. So you have to say, okay, okay, my daughter wants to ride bicycle in the Boston when she went to college. I'm like, no, I'm against that. And I said, mom, this is my life. It's like, I said, yeah, I say that to my parents too. So it's my turn to worry. And I can understand, so it's not until your parents, you don't understand the parents, right? So it's the whole thing. And um, so I go, okay, I just have to be there if anything happens because I have to let go certain things for the kids to grow up. They want to be challenged. Isn't that nice? So, and then, okay, let's talk about how to bicycle. You need to have a helmet, you need to do this and that. Make sure you have your flat things. So all prepared and watch other people. <laughs> watch other traffic. So you say, you don't do all the preparation. So then things still happen. Things are always gonna happen. So you're gonna trust yourself that you can deal with. That's the whole thing. It's all about how we deal with a different situation so you don't overly stretch, stress, overly worry, because everything's about this, right? Fear, overly fear. So, mm, anger, right? So angry. It's like, why? Right? Everything can be fixed. Everything is a cycle. It changes, it changes, and it changes. And every time it changes, like we talk about the spring, it's never the same, but we call it spring, right? Human, we're different, but we call it human, but we look different, but we're still human, humankind. Isn't that amazing? There's so much for us to open and see instead of being bottled up and, you know, can't think through things. So anyway, here we go. So I'm going to move and explain the emotion into the movement so we can harmonize our life with the movement. So Qigong is huge. It's a philosophy into the exercise, move all together. So it, you, it, you don't just go on and you, you're wishful thinking, right? You have to understand the knowledge. You acquire knowledge and you practice, you use all together. So I'm very passionate about so, and that's why I'm talking so much. I'm gonna stop talking now and go into the movement and bring in the emotion to it. The element of it is earth. <clears throat> the season, we call it transition. There are five elements and five seasons. So hopefully next year come, <clears throat> and uh, in March, my workshop will start, start up in March and I keep my finger crossed I'm not going to worry about it because I said it twice already. So if everything goes well, um, I would love to see you in my studio. I can explain so much better, drawing pictures, all this stuff. Right now, I'm, I'm still kind of amateur doing everything. Plus, I'm moving, so I don't want to add too many, too many things on the screens for you to get too confused because you have to follow the movement, okay? So we keep it simple. So... I can talk a lot, but I don't want to drop a lot of image in for you to worry too much. And hopefully my book will come out at the same time. Thank you. Here we go. <clears throat> Engage your abdominal core stance. Do not laugh. See, I'm, I'm really good with hyperextending, so I can constantly remind myself. Even me, right? It doesn't matter because we're always learning, always changing for the better. So here we go, horse stance. <clears throat> I'm gonna warm up just a little bit to wake up like the spine and the first responder, two arrows and two V's on the body and our mind. So ready, nice, trans um, open a little wider. So I have, this is my front, that's, your, that's my nose. I turn side so you can see my spine. You can see everything better, but if you look confused with the movement, 
your friends always the north. Let's put that way. You don't have to follow. If you go outdoor, <clears throat> sorry. If you go outdoor, it would be nice you follow the direction of it. But otherwise, for teaching purpose, friends always north. Okay? So ready? I put my hand. Remember the thumb? Okay. Thumbs and then L2 and 3. The knuckles at the sacrum. Reverse the downward breathing. Inhale, pelvic floor tummy in. You still breathe in the lungs, you cannot change them. Remember, exhale, I'm gonna root more and I can release my spine so soft. Inhale, <coughs> sorry, inner thigh pelvic floor first responder. On the exhale, root more. Two more times, inhale. Leading the energy all the way up to the top, your head goes up. So you connect, right, three power, heaven, humankind, and the earth, and the mother earth. Exhale. Okay, so now I'm going to shift my weight a little bit side to side just for fun. Let's warm up. I'm pushing this leg, arch foot lift and shift away. Push the right leg, I'm shifting weight. And the pushing side to side. One more time, so you see, your body is like a mountain, right? It's stabilization, mobilization, it's your leg. Okay, stand up a little bit. Here we go, the very first, well, there's seven, remember? There, this is the very first movement of the second set called Harmonize with Nature's Chi. You build up your energy, Chi's mean energy, you build up your energy, you harmonize nature's energy. Nature changes all the time, right? There's, uh, I'm in Connecticut, so there's four seasons. We're going into the winter, and it's uh, we have Indian summer this week. It is so beautiful, 70, 75 degree. Everybody's outside. Go, right? Get all the oxygen, your vitamin D, right? Just look at this beautiful blue sky and the foliage, you know, the the changing so beautiful nature is so beautiful so so we're gonna make this one small universe very beautiful too here we go inhale pelvic floor tummy in and travel up and massage my stomach already and spleen exhale i'm reaching to the north side i keep sending my energy out through the finger with the nature combine exhale i bring the nature energy to me and finding the Mother Earth, I stand in tall. Inhale again. Right, the nature is all around us. And your body, my body, is a small universe. We're going to harmonize, wake up, and understand this small universe of yours and mine. Connect with the great universe out there. Let's do four times. Inhale again. I'm in the thigh, pelvic floor, I'm massaging my spleen and stomach. Exhale, letting go the worry right away. Recognize this there, inhale. Tummy in, so the whole front, even the liver is involved, it's fine. Exhale, reaching east and west. Continue send energy up. So I'm worried. I don't want to sit there and keep thinking what am I worried about. So now guess what? We charge on more negativity. Exhale, don't do that. Reach your finger out, inhale, wrist. Exhale, nice and tall. Keep building up. Creating trust and strength. Knowing you can deal with any worry become true it's okay. It's just part of life. Inhale. Bring out the strength. Focus on how you're going to deal with the situation. So then you come through. Inhale. We always say there's a light in the tunnel, but you have to go through the tunnel. And exhale, not being afraid. That's the second one, third one. Inhale, 
Okay, I'm gonna use my right leg, right side external obliques, push. So left side's open, my spleen's open. I rotate, open the spleen. The spleen is the largest internal, right, organ I take care of immune, immune system. It's the largest immune system. It purifies the blood and exhale. Now I'm contract this side. So I'm contract my spleen stomach a little bit because I'm a hollow tummy too. And then open softly. Again, inhale, exhale, totally open nice and tall. Inhale, pelvic floor tummy. So I'm going to squeeze and exhale, open. So twisting like a little squeeze and opening, opening. Inhale, tummy in again. And exhale, release. So you have to have movement, a beautiful massage to the internal organ. Exhale, now squeeze, squeeze. Spleen and stomach, and reaching out, inhale, and exhale, return. Let's do it again. Inhale, tummy in, exhale, we open, lengthen the spine. Inhale again, squeeze the spleen, stomach, and exhale, release, nice and tall. So that squeeze is open. Inhale. It's like a massage, right? Talking to the body. Inhale. Deep, deep, deep into the internal organ. Recognize the worry. One more time. Inhale. One more set. Exhale. Release the spleen and stomach. Inhale. One more time. I recognize it's there. Exhale, and when I put in the trust that I can deal with. Inhale, with strategy. Exhale, now with anger. Inhale, tummy in. Easy to say, hard to do, but that's called life. Okay, so ready, inhale the fourth one. So I'm lifting up, right? Exhale, I'm released. I'm so powerful. I'm gathering the universe energy. Inhale. And exhale. Because you understand how brave, how strong the universe is. Right? They bring all this wind, tornado, hurricane, snowstorm, right? Summer storm. And inhale, and exhale. I love to go hike, I'm watching all the trees on the cliff. Their roots, it's in the rock. And they endure so much, the weather change. No complaint. They create, they create these beautiful shapes, right? Melting, working with the nature, inhale. We call it bonsai. And exhale, they look strong. Even they are living right on the cliff. No one's fertilizing. And inhale. At the same time, they are, they are connecting with nature's tree, make them strong. One last time, so they can really sustain. In a harsh weather up in New England, and New England weather is not even, it's not harsh in some other places. Everything. So what happened? We can adjust. Inhale, you ready? Exhale, push. Open the whole spleen stomach. Inhale. Inviting strength. Inhale. Don't invite in the worry, all the negativity, fear, and anger. Inhale. Exhale. Life is full of change. Inhale. Tummy in. 
Exhale, push from the right side, reaching up. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, tummy in. Exhale again, twist. See my knees not moving? I'm not dropping my feet, okay? I'm always, always rooting, connect with the Mother Earth. Because in Mother Earth gives me also energy to grow with the heaven, right? with the beautiful sun. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Nice open. Inhale. Let's do one more set. Inhale. Squeeze by right, so massage spleen stomach. It doesn't move my spine. Exhale, extend my spine. Bend the knee a little more. Root it down. Push. Inhale again. Powerful tummy. I recognize the worry. I have trust that I can handle. Exhale, I can find my way. Inhale. And exhale. The sixth one. Long, long breath. Inhale. And then exhale, open, twist. Inhale. Exhale, release nice and tall. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Beautiful wave of the spine. And create a spiral. Keep pushing open, don't drop that knee. Inhale. Exhale. She go always make me feel so much stronger. And solving so much issues that's in my head. Exhale. So I did not just move the external of my body. I call in my internal strength. This is the seventh one. Ready? I'm going to reach in full and get the universe and heaven to the surrounding and to the Mother Earth. I'm going to shift my weight forward with the shoulders down, neck long, soften the knees. Gather the inner energy up. We're going to return to the beginning right here. Three more times. In. Exhale, root it down so I open. Open the stomach, the spleen, and the liver side. Inhale, going forward. Tummy in. Exhale, release forward a little bit. Don't go back. Bend your knee, gather in. Inhale, gather the inner thigh, pelvic floor, tummy. Exhale, nice and tall. Two more, in. Okay, I'm going to 
bend your knee, you bend your knee and shift your weight, come back to center. Nice and tall. That's the second set of the contemporary Qigong that I have developed. And with the total by meaning. So this is called meaningful movement. Qigong is meaningful movement. Lots of meaning goes in. It strengthens your mind. It does emotion, right? We're not like flipping it. We just had an election too. It doesn't matter which result. It doesn't matter which part you're in. You you will focus what we need to do, right? To bring everything together. It is not easy. Uniting is not easy. Resist is in, is easy because we do that very young age, right? Resist the mother talking. Resist and resist because we like to do what we wanted to do. But there is always a system. And so here, I'm, I'm my job's easy. I'm just talking about this small universe, this small universe system, get to know them better, okay? It's only my book and um, it's it's working beautifully. My daughter just visit and from England for a week, for actually 10 days from Boston here. And um, mm, she's back in London now and that's amazing, but fly, fly, fly. I'm, um, there are a lot of things we keep worrying, but things gonna get better. Everything's gonna have this cycle. It comes and goes. And if we're strong, it's not gonna take us down, right? So the COVID-19 too, I just have another test for my clients to, so I can tell them my test result to help them to come. I also, I don't wanna be the one spread. So we all have our responsibility to work, even I know I'm fine. And just to say, just to prove something and uh, say I care, it's important. And because uh, I don't believe fear and I believe strength. I don't believe worry because I have a lot, but I can live with it. Okay, thank you so much. Hope you feel the same way and uh, take care of your body <sighs> with good health. You have a bright future. That's what we need to think about. Take good care of this small universe. Take care of yourself. And I see you next week. <laughs>